Morning sunshine! Let me just turn down Gilmore Girls. We all know it's my fave. So, let me just make myself a little comfortable here. The angle's probably really weird. Also, ignore my hair. I need to blow dry it. It is currently wet because I've just had a shower. Um, yeah, so I thought I would vlog today. It has been a long time. So, to catch you up, if you didn't see my last video, which was me singing um, Shallow from A Star Is Born, um, I have moved house. I am now in um, a flat that me and Harry rent. So yeah, we moved and we haven't moved far from um, his dad's house where we were living um, before and it's actually really close to my work and it's just, it's cool. I love it. I'm obsessed with it. It is not done yet at all. Um, there's a lot of decorating that needs to happen, um, but I'm going to do a full-on cleaning day today. So my plan for today is it's actually half one already because it's my day off and I kept snoozing my alarm and then falling back to sleep and then I had chocolate digestives and watched Gilmore Girls and then I had a shower and that's basically all I've done today but I do have quite a bit to do I want to go shopping for um, some more cleaning bits and can't maybe some like little Christmas bits because it is November and I feel like we need to start buying our Christmas decorations and um, the only thing I've bought so far is some baubles and I do have some fairy, fairy lights already um, but you know, we need to get some Christmas bits. Obviously because we've never had our own place over Christmas before. And we have like stockings and stuff. They're still at his dad's house in the attic. So we need to collect those at some point. But um, yeah, so I want to get some Christmas bits and uh, a load of cleaning bits. Because I need to do a bit today. Like I have carpet stains going on because of poor Blue. <laughs> he had a really sore belly like this week. And um, he to be to like put it bluntly he couldn't make it to his litter tray <laughs> so um yeah i need to sort that out so yeah i have i feel like i'm very late to the bandwagon but i have this obsession with mrs hinch like where has she been all my life like since moving i've become this like cleaning freak and i just want to make everything smell amazing and clean and gorgeous and I'm just like what's happened to me but yeah Mrs Hinch she's only on Instagram I believe but she's just like hilarious incredible it makes you want to clean your house even if it's spotless I don't know so yeah I'm gonna get a bunch of stuff today that she has recommended I've got a few bits already because <laughs> um yeah isn't it funny how social media works <laughs> the other thing is for the past like two weeks I have been so ill like I he I either had the flu or some sort of virus because I was off for two days because I was like throwing up and then I felt absolutely fine so I went into work and then the day after that I literally walked into work and I got set I got sent home because I literally felt so ill and I couldn't get out of bed for like four days and it was horrendous <laughs> and yeah all the cold and flu tablets all the ibuprofens and now I've just got like a little bit of a cough left. Um, <coughs> obviously that would happen. Like it's a very tickly cough. It's very annoying. Um, but, you know, at least I feel moderately normal again. Um, yeah, so feeling ill. Better now. And I need to clean today. And show you guys our home. <laughs> the first thing I need to do though is take the, um, well put the washing that's on the rack away and put the bed in on the washing line and then put another load of washing in because we had to change our bed in the other day um and obviously it's been washed and now it needs to hang somewhere i mean we don't really have we have a drying rack but we have like a king size duvet and sheets and like i don't know where they're gonna go but we're gonna figure it out i might just fold them and put them on the radiator and stick the heating on for a bit um yeah so i'm gonna do that and then we're gonna head out get our cleaning bits gonna be fun i think we're gonna like go to b and poundland and um, this is for christmas little bits as well yeah b and poundland is it just me who thinks b and is like so much better than home bargains like i love home bargains like with my whole heart but b and it just does it for me do you know what i mean 
so yes that was a really long update i feel here's my current coffee table situation gilmore girls uh, what i will show you guys though is my prints on my wall because i am obsessed with these they took ages to come um but i literally love it if i stand back like ignore the ugliest curtains in the world they are the curtains that were here when we moved in and we really want to like change those um but yeah this is my living room situation i'm obsessed like obsessed so they're all from decenio which i feel like is kind of the og of um prints and frames these days i feel like everyone gets them from there and like loads of people are sponsored by them not me but i just love decenio so we've got this massive lion which i think is so cool it's my little lion dude this um sorry the window's reflecting i don't really know what it is um at first i thought it was like trees and then the gray cloud but there's like a pink hue and then this almost looks like foil like gold foil i don't i don't know just thought it was nice and when i like did my put my gallery wall together on decenio you can there's like a feature on the website you can build your gallery wall and see what it's gonna look like um i don't know i really liked it and these three i know are really random and this does slightly bother me because in the uk we spell color c-o-l-o-u-r um so it should have a u there i know that's gonna get on my mom's nerves when she comes to visit us on the weekend um because i don't know i just know it will so we've got this blue um gold like marbly one super nice love that then this live colorfully one is just like some green leaves in the background with a pink fluorescent sign and then this little one which is just a tree and a little sun right first things first let's sort this washing out with me because definitely gonna run out, and run out of charge and then I need some shopping bags I'm sure that'll be enough and ugh, I need to take my cat poo bag with me because <laughs> I need to go on the bin do you know what I mean so dark. See you in a bit. I feel I went a bit mad <laughs> and it seems to have rained a lot since I was in B&M's. However, that was a pretty successful trip. Bought a lot of cleaning stuff and some Christmas bits, which I'm really excited about. I think this year we're going for like gold and red like goldy ready situations on the tree um i was gonna just make it like gold gold and silver and white kind of colors but i really want red i want red gold white all the festiveness maybe a bit of green you know all the festives so b m was cool i also bought a doormat obviously because it was a fiver and we need a doormat well we don't need a doormat but the people that used to live in our um, 
place they already have one and it's like really tiny and I don't like it and I want the outside of my home to look pretty and inviting as well so yeah also talking of that I really need a wreath and I can't find a wreath anywhere that is a not a billion pounds and B really nice um, and it's just so difficult to find like the balance between those um, yeah I really need a wreath for the door just to be honest if I don't sorry the camera's like doing whatever it wants to do just bear with me um, if I don't go and buy all the Christmas stuff we would never have a Christmassy house in December and I mean that's just like not okay in my life so I need to make sure that we've got all the Christmas stuff because Harry will just be crap to put it to put it bluntly same with the cleaning <laughs> but it's a good job that I actually really like cleaning um, so yeah so being um, done I am now heading to um, there's a, actually a massive home bargains and there's a um, pound land in the shopping centre that I'm going to so I'm going to head in both of those I have realised lately how easy it is to like bargain shop like I love a bargain live for a bargain like why are people spending like like I used to be an avid waitrose shopper so like trust me your girl loves waitrose but I've been doing all my shopping in like Lidl, Aldi and then going to Tesco for like bits and bobs that I can't buy in Lidl or Aldi um, or Asda and then I went in Waitrose and I was like Jesus Christ how much do they want for like bloody two pint of milk is like actually ridiculous so love a bargain um, yep so I'm just heading to the little shopping -y centre -y bit now and dark <laughs> I mean it's not I haven't been out that long it's just because it's winter and it gets dark really early it's like half four I think yeah literally bang on half four um, I'm insane like why do I want to be mrs. Hinch so badly like my happiness when I found these in Tesco's this is her pink, pinker. I'm not, I've lost the plot. Um, but I'm just going to eat this little prawn mayo sandwich I picked up because I realise I've eaten nothing but um, a couple of chocolate digestives today, which ain't good. So I'm going to start eating this, get my ass home, show you everything I bought. Hopefully, um, I think all I'll get to do really is um, clean the stains off the carpet which is the most important thing <laughs> because my day's just run away from me watching Jeffrey's snapchats so I'm gonna show you what I bought so I'm gonna do all the cleaning stuff first um, and then all the home stuff I did get quite a few Christmas bits which is very exciting Insane. Like I don't know how many times I gotta say it, but like I'm literally insane. Also, um, <coughs> because we have spotlights everywhere, the lighting's really unflattering. So, solved about that. <gasps> I finally got my hands on the 1001 um, carpet fresh in the frosted winter berries. I got the flash bathroom. Um, to be fair, though, I've needed a bathroom cleaner for ages and. Mrs. Hinch uses this one. How many times can someone say Mrs. Hinch in one video? Basically all the products you're going to see are ones that Mrs. Hinch uses and um, I'm so crazy that I wanted to buy them all and clean the same way she does. I bought the Astonish Mould and Mildew Blaster. This will be really good for um, my windowsills actually and the shower if, if it gets to that level. You know what I mean? Hopefully it won't, but needs must. I got me some pine toilet cleaner. 
I've actually wanted this for ages, like ages and ages. And all I want to do is smell it. Are you having a laugh? Bloody delish. I know there's um, like a duck one and a harpic one. Um, this is the one I found in B&M's. All this stuff is from B&M, by the way, what I've shown you so far. And then also I got myself a um, Mountain Air Zaflora. I love Zaflora. I've used it before. Just recently got my hands. Sorry, my nose and that keeps blocking up because of my illness. Um, I've just recently got my hands on the warm cinnamon and winter spice Zafloras. Love them. And um, yeah, this one is one of the big bottles. Mountain Air, lovely, delicious. Love that. Can't wait to use. And then, <laughs> in another bag, I mean, I've got some bagels, but that's fine. <laughs> I finally found um, the Spontex thick, two thick moppets, they're called. Um, basically, I've also wanted to get my hands on these for ages, um, you know, to clean with and stuff. <laughs> um, I also got these Wilco ones, um, clean as a whistle. They're just the same, but like thinner. Um, ideal for mopping up and wiping down, highly absorbent and long lasting. And it's just a four pack and yeah so basically you get the same amount um except these are thinner and these are thicker <laughs> i also bought the wilco um stainless steel um cleaner i've seen the sif one about and i've actually wanted that but i've seen loads of people use this one and i have just recently started watching ellie darby videos and i'm like obsessed with her videos as well and she uses this one and i mean her sink is gleaming so therefore I got this. What the fuck am I doing? I'm literally doing a cleaning haul, a cleaning product haul on the internet. And I just bought all of these things in one day. Next, we have the, this is from Home Bargains, the Star Drops White Vinegar Spray. And then the other infamous Mrs. Hinge product, 4-in-1 um, Pine Disinfectant Spray. For the kitchen, for the sink. I'm so excited. <laughs> and then, I think this is one of the last cleaning things I got. I really needed this. This is basically what I went out for. Um, this is the Dr. Beckman Carpet Stain Remover um, because of the stains I told you about. Um, this morning it comes with a little um, brush obviously to scrub the floor um, I'm guessing that's gonna get real dirty but it's fine um, yeah so I'm gonna need to use this in a little bit and then is there any more cleaning stuff that's actually all the cleaning bits um, but I also got two baskets from Wilco to put all my stuff in um, under the sink I'm probably gonna need another basket actually but they came in packs of two and I just thought We'll see how it goes. Um, I'll show you those, but they're in the bottom of a bag with all stuff on top, and it's just... Right, so, Christmas-wise, I got some dangly, spirally... Oh, they're not baubles. Well, it says luxury baubles on them. I don't know. But they're like spiral, rosy gold, £2.49 for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, for eight. Hang them on my tree. Beautiful. From B&M's, by the way. This is also from B&M's. This is going to go like in the middle of my coffee table, I think, because at the moment it's the only table I have. Um, we are getting a dining table, but we don't know when, before Christmas, after Christmas, who the heck knows. But um, this is a really cute little centerpiece from B&M. Candle, little tiny wreath around the edge that's like flocked, and little berries, and it's just really nice. I thought for B&M, that's like beautiful. Oh, the candle is warm vanilla fragrance as well, which is lush. I then got this little um, gold wreath from Wilco. It's one and a half meters long, £2.50. Fun fact, um, in work, we actually sell one like this. Um, that is, who is it? Gisella Graham. I mean, I love, I love her products, especially all her Christmas stuff. 
but this is literally nearly exactly the same and this is £2.50 and the Gisela Graham one is like over 40 quid. Um, absolute barg. I think it's going to go in front of my telly or something on the little telly stand. Love that. And then this is technically not like, well I guess it is because of the scent but I just needed some nice smellies for the house. Um, I got this Earwick candle in mulled wine. Oh, hell yeah. And I also got the same scent in a little um, wall, what are they called? Diffuser thing. Just plug it into the wall. Can't wait, gonna stick that on in a sec. Then I got these two humongous hanging gold stars. These are both from B&M. This was actually 149. I don't know why it was reduced. I was trying to find something wrong with it. Um, it was meant to be 199, but it was reduced to 149. This can literally hang up anywhere on anywhere on the wall, or it'll just, or it can hang like off a shelf, maybe on a little hook. I just think that'll be so pretty. And the same way that this one, this was 199. Look how bloody gorge for 199. Literally obsessed. Oh god, I just love it. Then um, this is also from B and M. Um, sorry, it's a bit everywhere. It's just I'm. <laughs>